This is on uh, chasing out agoraphobic alarms that are rational. So, if you have a set of systems that have been designed to align you to a path based on what you've labelled as pleasant so far in the past, and they have got to the point where they're in a kind of frantic, such that whenever you engage in almost any activity, they alarm and say you're not supposed to be there. I think uh, this is probably only one manifestation of the agoraphobic anxieties, but it's a difficult one because if you can't, you get tired all the time. So you can use tricks like performance and then you'll get tired when you get home and you'll always take your time alone because it'll be such a relief compared to outside, which will tend to mean nights, but if you're not sleeping that means days are always going to be difficult. You can use medicative adjuvants, uh, <clears throat> but they'll be too sedative, and then you can use caffeine, it'll go on a cycle. Same with sleep waking. And all that really leaves is, like, is meditation, and uh, a lot of it, if it has to be completely silent, is not overly conducive to being out in the world. Now, cognitive techniques don't really work, uh, like the behavioural science doesn't, because well, at least in my case, exposure is always forced, even if it has to be a cab, which it almost always is. At the last minute, I'm still always out and stay out for as long as I can. And so all that does is they alarm constantly, and you can't restructure or, or dispute because they're, they're correct. <laughs> they're, they're annoying, but they're right. They're, they don't know where you're supposed to be, they just know there is not good. So... I don't really know what that leaves. You can't, and you can't tear them up because they're linked to other systems too. Uh, because in psychology and philosophy, and probably all of it, the whole medical model is based on the idea of a, of a you instead of a multiple usnesses, which is the more correct. And so you'd have to pull it out in connection to every node. And you probably couldn't ever, even if you wanted to, succeed in doing that. So you can mitigate it, and throw yourself out the door, like with all the rules and systems. Uh, like, uh, uh, I think there's there's a learned ho hopelessness uh, component to it, like a Seligman variant. But I can't do anything about that if it's right either. If based on all the experience you have, there's very little hope in going out there. It doesn't matter if you can logically show that using any amount of energy for any amount of s small chance of success um, is worthwhile, it... you still have to deal with the alarms. You still have, it's still like walking underwater. And so and every time you have to spend energy shutting them down, you're distracted, you can't concentrate, or you use... and medications of course are limited, and so if you can't have too much because you're falling asleep, uh, you can't have too much caffeine because it goes the other way and too much further it'll trigger anxiety. So that leaves, I don't know, dying alone in poverty like Tesla. That's pretty much it. Or forcing yourself and, and accidentally hitting on enough uh, positives that the energy becomes generative and uh, you could break the habit that way. But it would probably need to happen quite a lot because the bombardment of the, the rest is fairly constant. Um, yeah, and, and there's nothing else once you've got something that's that permanently organic. Well, there are no treatments, we don't, no one knows what they're doing. They'll, they'll talk like they do though, but yeah, there's nothing else you can do but use those medications sparingly, meditate, try and keep an eye on cognitions, not spiralling or anything like that, but there's no trouble with that. And then, yeah, yeah. That's it. Keep keep going until, yeah, catch fire. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything else.